To begin this tour of Unit 508, I want to show the hallways, which are nicely illuminated, not too bright, uh, with light that comes from the sides, so it's less harsh. Beautiful green work on a heavy door. Walking into the space, you're presented with an open concept, living room, dining room, and storage for a coat closet. The guest bath has a modern aesthetic with geographic geometric tile work in a sort of masculine modern color scheme. Chrome fixtures, clean lines, neutral color palette. The tile work goes all the way up to the ceiling and the water pressure for the bathtub is pretty good. Leaving the bathroom We'll go towards the kitchen, which has a similar aesthetic vibe. Well lit with engineered quartz as a countertop material, double oven, including one that can be used as a microwave, ventilation that leaves the unit so to make the air as clean as possible crisp lines, clean color palette, makes it a really attractive kitchen. The view of the space is south, southern and overlooks the Anacostia River. There's a gas fireplace and private outdoor space. This is one of the few floor plans in the building that doesn't look into someone else's unit. You have a direct line of sight to the water. an outdoor space in front of both bedrooms, as well as the living room. Beyond the green roof is a dog play area, and you can see the yoga space for the condo gym downstairs as well. Really beautiful. And again, relatively private compared to other spaces. Moving on, we'll head to the smaller of the two bedrooms which could still accommodate a fuller queen-size bed. It's obviously configured as a baby's room right now, but the crib itself has the width of a normal bed. We have a double closet at the end, and we'll look at it from a different angle. Where they have a changing table, one could fit a dresser as well. This is also where you'll get the laundry, stacked units, and moving towards the master suite. Here, they have a king-size bed and two bedside tables to give you a sense of the size. You have that outdoor space and the unobstructed southern sight line as well. There are two different closets. This one is comparable to the one in the smaller bedroom, but there's an additional walk-in closet as well with the same alpha system built in. There's also a space that could be used as a bathroom storage or linen closet. Substantial storage space here. And a generous bathroom. I'd say it's about a 30 inch vanity and similar tile work to the other bathroom. Modern, a little bit masculine to me, very nice. I wanna point out that the doors are controlled with the fob and automatically lock. Here we're in the condo's resident lounge. I love how the light streams in through that glass wall. This is looking north. There's a bar area for entertaining with refrigerator, ice maker, and then there's an outdoor grill, if I can just open this door, on the roof. Looking east, plenty of space to have people over or lounge around in the seating area. That's Vita Fitness across the street and beautiful sight lines all around. It's a really gorgeous neighborhood. Additional seating on the other part of the deck. The resident lounge up here also has 
uh, a television. This video is of the yoga space I pointed out from above. It connects to the gym. Forgive the camera sweeping around here. I just you know, um, am uncomfortable filming people working out, but you can see the gym is well equipped. There's a 24 hour front desk where one would have access to the elevators seen down this hallway, as well as package lockers for larger deliveries or grocery deliveries that need to be refrigerated. You can see there is plenty of space here. Beyond that, there's individual mailboxes for mail, resident information about upcoming events, weather, etc., and some maintenance spaces. This is the garage level, and I wanted to point out that the spaces are full size. They're really generous. You can see there are multiple electric vehicle charging stations and bicycle storage down here as well. 